Hi, Stitchers. Hi, I'm Keisha. I'm Laura. Welcome to the Pattern Queens, episode 135. Today is Sunday, October 15th, and this is a channel about cross stitch and friendship and rambles and lots and lots of shenanigans and this tradition, us talking like 15 minutes before we actually hit record. <laughs> It was actually kind of short for us. So. Yeah, yeah, that's, I guess that's true. <laughs> and how many times did I say, never mind, I'll say that when we're on camera? Yeah, you know, we do that. We share all of our best stories, and then we're like, oh, we have nothing to talk about on video. <laughs> or we relate them again, and then, you know. And it, we pretend to like it's the first time we've heard them. Yes. Wow. <laughs> oh, no kidding. So, welcome. <laughs> Already you can tell there's a little chaos that goes on. Um, thank you for returning if you are a returning viewer and thank you for coming and checking us out if you're brand new. Sorry, there was a blip there about what, what order I was going to say things. Um, and then Keisha, do you want to tell us what's going on with you this week? Yeah, so we had a family outing and went with one of my friends yesterday to Powell Gardens, which is the local-ish botanical gardens to Kansas City. It's like an hour away. Um, and it's a nice we had a to great... get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we had a great time. They had a, a, a scarecrow path that led to the children's garden. And so uh, James, uh, my my three-year-old, if you're new here, he, uh, he would see one and he would run and he'd go, oh, I spy a scarecrow. And he'd run to that scarecrow and he'd go, oh, I spy another scarecrow and he runs the next <laughs> one. He just had the best time. And then they had um, a sugar cane maze. That was pretty fun. And um, this tunnel that had cords all hanging down. But my favorite part was like, how do you make a botanical garden Halloween and scary? You have a room with poisonous plants. <laughs> and so we learned all about these poisonous plants. And, um, and there was a, uh, a truly scary scarecrow in that room. And he had a name tag on that said he was the curator of poisonous plants. Oh. So um, all the other scarecrows were were nice and uh, kid friendly. That one was a little bit scary. And they had, had a sign on the door that said, enter, you know, at your own risk, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I didn't see that there was going to be a scary scarecrow in there. So I had to tell James, I was like, okay, buddy, there's going to be a scary scarecrow. If you see it, just remember he's not real. It's okay. And James sees him and he just starts laughing at him. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Because I thought he was creepy. So but anyway. that kind of goes with the horror flies. Uh, mm -hmm. Does that make you want to go do that? Pick up that sound uh, now? And, uh, you know, that'll be your in memoriam piece for. So. I like the idea of the horror flies one, but I have this thing about eyes. Like I don't want to <laughs> people talking about their eyes. I don't want to see people touching their eyes. Um, so the little butterflies that have eyes in the middle, not for me. Not your thing, huh? Not my thing. Not my thing. Which is <laughs> funny because I almost bought that salad at the beginning being like, oh, scary butterflies. I bet that's cool. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a very cool sal, but not a Keisha one. Yeah, I've been watching, um, I've been watching some of our friends working on that and keeping up and it is fun to see it come along. And especially our friend Chloe is doing it on just such pretty fabric. And then you see what she's stitching and it's just kind of, it's such a juxtaposition of the yeah. two things. It's funny. Yeah. I love watching her progress on her piece, but I'm like, yep, I'll just watch someone else do this. <laughs> My eyes would itch the entire time I stitched it. <laughs> I bet. So what's new with you? Well, over last weekend, Katie and I kind of had a staycation out of the house so that some work could get done on our bathroom here at home. So that is, that's nice. They're still kind of finishing things off because of course, when you do DIY, you never have quite all of the right pieces to get everything done or something comes up, you know, on this one, they set the vanity up. Our old vanity, the sink was square in the middle of it. On this one, it's over to the left, which means that it doesn't line up with the pipes. Right. So that was the latest thing. They had to go find, you know, something else to hook up with that. And of course, it had to be ordered. You couldn't get it just in the store. Of course. So, 
but that's that's nice to have those things and it's it's nice that it's all getting there mm -hmm. and then um we had monday we had fri last friday and monday off for um one was a complete day off because they had uh conferences last week and then this week we had monday off for professional development so we had a day full of uh just meetings and things at my school so mm -hmm. that was good and then the rest of the week uh i just felt like we rushed through the week and every night normally i take a little nap in the afternoon because i just mm -hmm. i don't sleep i can't stay in bed all night uh for like a full eight hours so i usually catch like a little hour nap ish haven't had one all week <laughs> it's just how it went and then friday with black needle we packed the treat box then cleared everything off the table and packed the trick box so it Which was why we're filming remotely because yeah. i've been told that the office is full it is um because yes there's just you know the aftermath from that and we didn't have a chance to go take care of anything so yes we are separate today and today is my husband's birthday Ooh, so birthday to him. he doesn't know it yet but i bought him a cool chief's sweatshirt nice. yeah so Perfect. that'll be his thing so mm -hmm. now that we are this far in are you ready to talk some stitching i am i am Okay, speaking of boxes, I know that that's what you're going to talk to us about for stash. Yes. yes, so I was going to show you, um, as promised, some of my favorites from the box, the September box, which was fairy tale themed. Um, my actual favorite thing is this really great blanket uh, that has a forest scene and has a little red riding hood. I can't show it to you because it's on my couch in the living room currently covering up James. So <laughs> I didn't take it from him, but I'll show you the stitching related stuff. So probably my favorite stitching thing is we got a piece of Enchanted Forest from Forbidden Fiber Co. And mine is a piece of Lugana because I stitch on everything. My lighting in this room is terrible. So Oh, there's a good shot. Yeah, it's just a really soft gray green and i'm really excited you can see that good modeling there i'm not sure what i'm going to put on it but i'm really excited then we got some flosses from hand dyed by rolanda this first one is this really fun green gray um it's called a magical curse and if you don't know green is keisha's favorite color that's why she showed you that one first <laughs> um, this one is Lara's favorite color because it's a person <laughs> and it's called the evil queen as you can probably tell it's pretty uh snow white mm. evil queen theme so far and then the last one is true love's kiss which looking at it kind of matches my bedding back there <laughs> it does so, um so those were the flosses we got and then the last thing i'll show you is we got this great pattern from the primitive hair called the frog prince i think is really pretty cool i like to stitch that big old frog <laughs> so anyway and it's, i like um, the tree coming in from the sides too mm -hmm. i'll have to see because i bet this would look good on the piece of fabric that we got too if it's big enough i and, think uh, you would probably have to do it over one Oh, okay. It well, is the, it's uh, a, oh yeah, this is a one sixty three by one seventy four. She's a big one. It's what size? Um, one sixty three by one seventy four. One five three or one six three? I'm sorry. One six three. Okay. Uh, and it's thirty two count. I just got to move these. They're not doing me any good when I'm up close. <laughs> 163 by 174. Mm -hmm. It says with a two inch border, I'll take the border off because then we'll just see exactly how big it is. So it would be 11 by 11. 
So you would only have, it would fit over two, but you would only have an inch side to side. I have to get a different piece of fabric. <laughs> I mean, if you started right in the, in the center, you start at the top. So if you started mm -hmm. in the center top, right on the center fold, you would get it exactly. And do you have, do you have a salvage? Um, not much of one. You didn't actually get the salvage then. Oh, oh I got, did. yeah. I got a so bit. that might get you a little extra on that side, which would or help. I find a really, or I find a really great pet piece of uh 36 count or 40 count and I do it on that and I save this um, for something else <laughs> yeah so that you don't stress the entire time that you're doing it yeah. because knowing my luck I would miscount it I'd probably start it right in the center sometimes if I don't think I have much wiggle room I start right in the center mm -hmm. so. but mm -hmm. anyway that's the stash I'm going to show you there are more things in the box too but you're here for the stitchy stuff <laughs> Um, I took something to CC and company yesterday because she's mm -hmm. having a framing sale and I let my family vote and I'm not even going to tell you what it is. You'll just be surprised when she finally gets through all of the orders that she has and it comes in, but I'm pretty mm -hmm. excited that I got to take a piece out. Nice. So. I'm excited to see. I see that you kind of flipped your wall a little bit up there and have some more Halloween-ish pieces. Oh, we did hang Katie's game board, which is actually kind mm -hmm. of hidden. It repeats this at the other end. But mm -hmm. the funny thing is, this is from the Primitive Stitcher. I always have to think about it. And um, Lisa designed it with only seven squares, mm -hmm. which made Katie nuts. So right. she reworked it and made it actual workable game board size. Mm -hmm. And um, she just modified the top a little bit. It, you can see there's a lot of space in there. So she was yeah. able to wiggle things around. And nice. uh, it's finally the season for my ghost yes. ship mm -hmm. skeleton crew by um, Cricket uh, Collection. Thank you, Cricket Collection. I was getting there, but I couldn't get there quite fast enough. <laughs> so... Anyway, and there's, I mean, they're always, I guess you can see the little hat today mm -hmm. too. Yeah. We have a few more things that I'll probably change around, but it was fun. It was fun to see yeah. those go up. So, sure. okay. My stash also, I am in the color and cotton fabric of the month and I neglected to show um, September's piece of fabric. So it is spun sugar. Mm -hmm. I get 32 count linen. Mm -hmm. I just think that is gorgeous. So Beautiful cool. pink. So then the October piece is called Celestine. Oh, it, <laughs> I haven't even opened it up fully because I just didn't do that. But it got hooked through both sides. Let me fix mm -hmm. this. Oh, also, if you guys just saw my face do a weird thing, which I'm sure you did, because I caught myself doing a weird thing. Um, <laughs> I just heard a cry from outside of my door. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening, but it sounded like his dad took him right to his room. Oh, no. Okay, so I just had that beautiful pink one. This month is blue. Ooh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and I don't know how blue it's coming up for you. Maybe that's better. When I mm. tilt it toward the window a little more, but it is beautiful. Very pretty. So, yeah, that's fun. Then um, I ordered some floss. One of the projects that I'm working on needed some more black coffee. However, mm. I was looking and I saw that they had the DMC wool. Oh, yeah. And if you haven't seen this, it's a stranded wool and I've kind of pulled one a little loose so mm -hmm. you can separate the strands and stitch with one strand. And I'll show you why I want to do that here in a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me. I've never worked with that. Me either, but I think I have a project where it would be cool. Okay. Awesome. So then I saw somebody on Instagram post a finish on this. 
-hmm. and I fell in love with it and I bought the darn thing and I bought all of the floss and mm -hmm. they had it done as a sampler. So it was done like this. Ooh, and I of like course, that. you know, she shows it as a drum and shows you the mm -hmm. sides, but I love that this is Plum Street. She always does this and shows you the full design on the back too. Right. So that is it for me for stash. So that awesome. will bring us up to whips whips <laughs> right. oh wait well one other thing do you have finishes uh, i don't have any finishes <laughs> oh i was hoping you finished your uh mill hill no i need to sit down and finish it i'm really so close to finishing it okay you're gonna hear me say i'm so close over and over today but i was so <laughs> close on miss fortune mm -hmm. Katie and I are doing the 13 stitches of Halloween that I stuck with this a couple extra days. And look, she's done. I love your green. <laughs> so this is just a scrap piece of linen from my stash. And I used all the called for DMC, except I wanted, I wanted her face to be a different color and DMC etoile. I don't know if you can see it sparkle um has c699 and they didn't have a limish you know they didn't have a lighter uh green that i would think would be more traditional but this maybe feels more vintagey with the rest of it i think so it fits it's a color that fits mm -hmm. so i really so liked good. it so and that good. was our friend connie had said to me oh well they make this one and I thought, oh, good. Oh, good. So I went and tried that. We'll see. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with it. That one was in my cute sleeve. But that was my finish. Exciting. I, I would have to look up what number. It might be finish number 30. Wow. That's great. <laughs> I'm trying to get to 40 this year. We'll mm -hmm. see if I get there. Okay. Now let's talk about whips. Okay. So, um. Uh, you could see one of my whips behind me for sure because it's basically the size of the blanket. I worked on death by cross stitch. Um, and this is folded in half, so she's surely massive. This is on a piece of 36 count agave linen, and I'm doing it in DMC 3809 and then some ecru and then some little touches in different colors. But um it's this just is looking thing. so pretty. And I worked on some of the border up here. I'm doing the Humans versus Zombies with Black Needle Society. And that was just some quick back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I didn't win my challenge. I'm not a very fast stitcher. But well, you're still human. You revived. <laughs> so anyway, that was that one. Uh, the next thing I worked on, uh, we both worked on Halloween at Granny's from Carolyn Manning. And mine is on a piece of 32 count, or 28 count, sorry, espresso linen from Witchell. And here's where I am on that. I finished up this um, square and started working on this one. So you are about one seventh complete because I counted and there are 41 diamonds. Ah, yes. That sounds like a lot, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> and you can see this thing is pretty sheer because you can see behind it. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing I worked on <laughs> is Halloween wreath from the Frosted Pumpkin. And this is on a piece of 28 count pewter linen from Picture This Plus. And here's what I have done so far. The style is completed, but I am not. Um, You're doing I so good though. I'm working on the never ending green that is this potion bottle over here. <laughs> So, but the next thing I'll be working on is the never-ending black that is the cat that goes next to it. So ah, oh, fun. Anyway, that's what I worked on the past couple of weeks. I'm in full-on Halloween stitching mode. Awesome. How yeah, about you. Kind of, that's kind of what's going on here too. Um, so the first thing I worked on, we're giving each of our projects, Katie and I, two days. The first mm -hmm. thing I worked on was Quaker Crow. Actually, the first thing was misfortune. 
but then the next one was Quaker Crow. And I think I put in this. I struggled a little with this. I don't know why, but I did. Yeah. That's okay. It's, you know, my projects seem to take three or four years for these smaller projects. But, you know, we'll get Sometimes there. Sometimes I work on something and I'm like, why do I keep messing this up? This is the easiest thing I can think of. And I just keep messing it up. <laughs> and then my next one is Jumping Cat by Dames of the mm. Needle. I love this How one. And I had one. this piece of fabric in my stash. Ooh, and I perfect. finished everything to do with the pot. They do have back stitch lines. I'm mm -hmm. not sure I'm going to put them in. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's pretty defined without it. I kind of like them like that. And they want you to put lines up and down the pumpkins and then outline their facial features. Mm -hmm. And we'll see when I get to the end. And you can see I started the cat. Yeah. This is what I want to use this wool for. Oh, that would be fun. Because I think, and I, you know, I'll have to play with it. Um, I'll probably keep going around my outline with it. And then if it, if I feel like it's going to work, I'll figure out how it'll work. Then um, we'll see what I do with this. I may just half stitch over it. Yeah. But that's where the black coffee and this go. Um, because I, I ran out of black coffee. I was really tempted to keep going on this because it's been going long enough that I feel that I, you know, if I would just give it a little more time, right? <laughs> like we all say, look how big that cat is. That's not going to get done no. fast. No. But my next one is Halloween at Granny's mm -hmm. and, oh, things are sticking together. Magnets. I love it. Mm -hmm. In this cute bag from That's So Kelly Co., and she is sending them with a tag now that you can write on the back. So, so I love this. Mine is on a piece of 28 count limited edition linen from um, Color and Cotton. And it goes this way. Wow. I have, um, I think I have a little over 1100 stitches and it is one two point three four percent complete i love that one two three four you can't work on it anymore that's perfect there you go and this needle minder is also from the september box yes you can see cinderella's castle in there mm -hmm. so it was kind of fun to put it on i have two complete blocks and then parts of all of those others and these were just all in reach and this is one of the four diamond rows. Mm -hmm. So there will be one more that's a little bit higher, but that's as far up as it'll go. And I, in case you're worried, people, I know you worry about us. It goes that far. So I have oodles of fabric. Yes. I really think that I will get it. It'll be fine in this part because I have to get mm -hmm. five of these across. Yeah. Yeah, you so, should be good. It's not a very big piece no okay and then so i'm putting these away as i go so i don't lose them then my next one is my plum street for the bunch mm -hmm. and um because plum street seems to be the designer that i have the most projects going as yeah. whips. it's a not, good one not probably the the most charts collected but the most projects going right. and my pattern is so old that it's falling apart the picture came off of the front it's hair oh. halloween it's mm -hmm. this and i am stitching mine on a uh, scrap piece of fabric using all the called for colors and that's where i got i finished the mama bunny and mm -hmm. I did this little ballerina bunny. She's missing her mm -hmm. eye because it's black. And I'll get to the black when I do border. Yeah. But this bat is not black. I don't know what you can see. It's a dark burgundy. Oh, it's interesting. The same color as the string. Oh, that's okay. Holding. Yeah. 
so that kind of surprised me i thought it was going to be black but this is one that i have determined that i need to just keep out and work on because mm -hmm. seriously i have right another I balloon have the moon and the bat yep and then the border fun it's that one's so fun. close i'm sorry i keep talking over you oh no it's okay but um it's too close to just to leave i just have to do it that's I really what like that one. and it is in my i love this one katie designed this for love you more when we did a halloween box and this one just says it's just a bunch of hocus pocus and it's the black flame candle i liked those fun patch uh patch ones and you know this is when they did the photorealistic fabric when we could find that readily mm -hmm. and so the smoke was just perfect to put it on mm -hmm. then i have one more whip i should have had two more but katie and i have problems getting to the next one just we just both we were working trying to get things ready for the box and all of that and mm -hmm. we ended up spending four days trying to get through our time on this so this is pumpkin row by chessie and me mm -hmm. and i am doing mine on a piece of 35 count 10 roof from uh weeks die works and i did get the side border and went back and started adding pumpkins oh cool now i did all of that last night <laughs> So, um, really once I finally get in the right light, I'm doing fine with it. Mm -hmm. Um, I evidently pulled colors from my stash and I pulled what I had and I, um, tweaked what I didn't. So my white pumpkin is going to be a different color than what they call for. And I don't know about the other ones, but it did not take that long. And I'm trying to stitch them. You can see the pumpkins have the the back stitch lines in them. Mm -hmm. So that's how I'm stitching them in sections. So my over dies <laughs> are showing up that way. Yeah. And I think it'll be even more evident. I just kind of wanted to give it, you know, definition by section instead cool. of just going back and forth. What a cool idea. And the reason it's so close to the edge is that I have a piece this long and when I finish, mm -hmm. I'm going to be able to turn it into a pin cushion with the with this as the backing fabric. And I oh, like awesome. the idea of that. Yeah, I like that. And maybe I'll have enough extra to do a little bitty scissor fob. Ooh, that'd be fun. That bird is really nice. Yeah. And you know how I how I am about crows. Mm -hmm. Um, and that one is in a key sleeve which I really like. And it has all the fun Halloween letters inside. Oh, very cool. So that is the end of my whips. Nice. That was wow. a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, also, just a quick plug. If you want to know more about what Lara's stitching and see Katie's too, they're filming over on um, the Black Needle Society's Floss Tube page. So go yes. check that out. Katie Thank has you. some great ones. She does. And we were really excited to finally be able to sit down and work on these projects because I felt bad. I had one little end of the outside border to finish, mm -hmm. but I couldn't, I couldn't see it at school. My lighting is not good enough there. Um, and probably I'll take that little hair's Halloween to school because mm -hmm. it's enough for that fabric. It's lighter. It's easy to work mm -hmm. with, but I just, I couldn't do it with that one. Right. And I needed right. to be right under my light, but I kept falling asleep this week. <laughs> Been there. <laughs> you got that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what is coming up for you plan wise? Well, um, uh, I really enjoyed pulling out, um, the Halloween wreath from the frosted pumpkin. So I definitely want to work on that one some more. Um, 
How I want to get back to in your 13 day. So what I'm doing for the 13 stitches of Halloween is I'm trying to put in 1300 stitches on a few different Halloween mm. projects. So okay, um, the ones that I chose were uh, Fright from Bent Creek, which I didn't work on this time, and um, Halloween Wreath. I really had a lot of fun with Halloween at Granny's, and so I'm just trying to figure it all out. I'm just going <laughs> to stitch on Halloween. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> You're going to see how many 1300s you can get, right? right? Or, you know, just how many things I work on. Maybe I'll work on 13 things. I don't know. I'm not sure that I have 13 Halloween whips going, but. We'll see. It's but uh, it would be fun, huh? Yeah, yeah. So basically, I'm just trying to get 1,300 stitches in on a couple of things, but we'll see. You're not nuts, so like Katie and I am working on 13 different projects, which that gets to be a lot after a while. I am. Um, I have a hard time when I have to switch every couple of days because sometimes I just want to work for more time on things. So that's. I mean, that's exactly how I was on Miss Fortune because we were so close. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, I have those other two that, again, are so close. Right. There's no reason to carry them over into next year. Mm -hmm. And it would be lovely. I think my um, list of charts that I have about 16 or 17 whips, Halloween whips, um, it may be 17 with Halloween at Granny's. But um, I may actually get down to 13. Oh, that'd be good. There we go. So, and I allow myself a new start every year. So to really hit 13 is kind of a big deal. Right, um, right. For sure. Um, this is what I'm working on next. And I just, my Kindle was laying here. So I thought I'm just going to do it this way. I love Halloween that this way. You have this one? I love that one. I need oh, to get okay. it. <laughs> I love it. And Katie and I both bought it and then decided, well, that's kind of silly because we live in the same house. So she had started hers. I had not. I took hers and I ended up, it's funny though, I ended up ripping hers out and starting over because it's on this printed fabric mm -hmm. and you have to get the sign in just the right place or you will get too far down into this. And when I counted, so Katie had started in the center. Mm -hmm. And when I counted down, we were not going to be where we wanted to be with it. Gotcha. And I know it looks like I'm not centered very well, but I, you know, I checked that out. And really, I only have the outline and a few stitches there. I don't know if I'll stop this year and put in the lettering on it so that yeah. I can then just fill. But I have today and tomorrow to work on it. Nice. And then I have who knows what else in here. I don't even know. There are a couple that I'm a little terrified to get to. And there are a couple that I'm kind of excited to get to. I have another one that is reasonably close but probably has way more stitches than i think it does right you know how that goes right yes. so um and i've been kind of pondering what i want to do i had intended to work every month on my hive rules and mm -hmm. on my quaker christmas and i've not been faithful with either of those so november i think what i'm going to do while I'm getting everything ready for the 12 stitches of December um, is to focus on those two projects and see what I can get done. I really wanted hive rules done this year and I'm still down. I start from the bottom. I've only completed the very last page. So okay. I have a lot to go, but right. my family bought me the sign that it came on uh, mm -hmm. to have it framed and I have got to get it done so that we can get it framed. I've already talked and talked to our local framer that mm -hmm. somehow morphed into talking. And mm -hmm. she has said that she would be happy to do that framing for me. Oh, cool. So That's awesome. yeah, it would be lovely to get that figured out and have her do that. So 
I'm excited about it. <laughs> wow. It sounds like you have some. Me. Yeah. I sounds like you have some great long term things. Yeah. Perfect. Right there. Right there. <laughs> right over your chin. <laughs> so, and there's Pia. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that's it for me. I, I'm trying to think if there is anything else that I need to think about for this week but i think it's that's it i think i've rambled as long as i need to ramble yeah. and who knows what shenanigans we're going to get up to this week so then really there's only one thing left to say and that's bye you have a good week bye